everyone, it's Nate from FreeFly. Uh, today I'm super excited to be introducing the Wirrus Pro payload for the Astro ecosystem. So in our quest to build out the Smart Dovetail ecosystem, we've integrated the Workswell Wirrus Pro onto a FreeFly gimbal, and it just clips right into Astro using the Smart Dovetail interface. So we've chosen the Wirrus Pro as a excellent payload for first responders, firefighters, and aerial inspections. So the Wirrus Pro has two different sensors on board, which make it ideal for these use cases. So we've got a 10x optical zoom full HD camera, and then a 640 by 512 radiometric thermal camera that does 30 hertz video and stills. We sell this payload as a standalone package if you already have like a mapping payload, for example. Uh, and then we also sell a kit uh, called Astro Thermal, which is available on our store, which is the Wirrus Pro payload plus Astro. So diving into the UX a little bit, we have the thermal camera pulled up on screen. So we have video and photo modes. I can switch between both of those. And then I have a whole bunch of different temperature exposure controls. So we have three different exposure modes for the thermal camera. Um, we have full auto, manual, and custom. Uh, we've also added um, different you know, thermal exposure ranges. So you can see a wider or smaller temperature range depending on what you need. And then uh, we have just a ton of different color palettes. Uh, we know people are constantly switching between these on other thermal payloads. So we added a bunch here and you know, they're all various different uh, ones that you can kind of pick and choose what your favorite is for your favorite use case. One of the features we have is isotherms. So if you're doing any sort of like search and rescue type operation, you can set different, uh, different colors to show up with different temperatures. So like an example would be, you know, if I'm looking for temperatures above let's say like, I don't know, 20, 21 C. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, you can see that everything in our studio, including Ansel and all of our warm camera equipment is lighting up bright red. So one of the cool things about this payload is you can do two different types of thermal video and three different types of thermal images. So we have different options for you to select based on you know, what you need to record that day, but uh, we have thermal encoded and then radiometric video. So thermal encoded is super nice for just being able to look at thermal video right off the camera. Uh, it saves in a .avi format, um, which most people can play just natively on their computer. And then uh, it also saves in radiometric video. So if you really need uh, temperature data for every single pixel, you can save radiometric video at 30 hertz. And then jumping over to the photo modes, uh, we have a bunch of different options there. So you can save either JPEG or TIFF images of the thermal sensor. And then there's also a infrared super resolution mode. So it, the camera essentially blends two thermal images together and delivers a higher resolution image from the same sensor size. So jumping over to the RGB camera, we've got a 10x optical zoom. The sensor is a full HD sensor. We've integrated zoom rate scaling onto this gimbal. So as you zoom into tighter and tighter focal lengths, your controls get less sensitive. So you can do some really precise moves um, with slow speed mode. You can really line up the gimbal and point exactly where you need to. So if you're looking at a pole or a bridge or a person or whatever it is, you can really line up the gimbal and get exactly the shot you're looking for. So the Weirs has a 128 gigabyte SSD, which you can save images and videos to. And then you can also save images to the USB drive in Astro. Any of the images that you take, if you save them to the USB drive on Astro, they'll be geotagged with the drone's location as well as the gimbal attitude. So if you're doing any inspection use case uh, with looking at you know, power lines or whatever it may be, you can take the geolocation from the images and then put that into whatever software you're using and uh, geotag exactly where those images were taken from. So this payload is about 930 grams or so. We're getting about 30 minutes of flight time depending on what you're doing, hovering or moving around. We know that people are likely to bang their gear up a little bit, so we've taken a nice hard pelican case and put a foam insert in here. Inside we have the gimbal, which just pops right out, and then this plugs right into Smart Dovetail. So one of the things we've been working on in addition to this is we have a new isolator coming for Astro. So this isolator has the smart dovetail on it, mounts to the chassis, just like the other isolator, um, but it gives a little bit better performance, especially at higher zooms. This isolator is backwards compatible with all previous smart dovetail payloads. So in addition to the Weirus Pro payload, we have, of course, the mapping payload. So A7R4, 61 megapixel images for mapping and inspection. Gremzy has come out with the Pixie PE gimbal, which has the smart dovetail connector and integrates with Mavlink, so you can put anything you want on there. 
And then we have the Smart Dovetail Connector Kit, uh, which is available on our store. So if you want to integrate a custom payload, we have the electrical pinout for that, as well as some resources to kind of get started with integrating different sensors on Astro. Sentara is working on their 6X multi-spectral camera. So it's on a gimbal made by them and just pops right into the Smart Dovetail so you can do agricultural work as well. There's a bunch of other Smart Dovetail payloads coming from us and from other payload manufacturers. This has been an overview of the Weiris Pro payload. We're super excited to get this out and shipping. We'll be shipping them out in batches over the next couple of weeks. Uh, if you have any other questions, reach out to support at Free Fly Systems. Thanks.